So the questions about women and children or feminism and childhood have been very much in my mind for a long time, particularly as critiques of, in the kinds of critiques of developmental psychology that I've tried to formulate have always been about how, how you can, you know, every time we invoke the child, we're always invoking the others around the child. Uh, and the, the children are, are complex and multiple and occupy multiple positions so that those pos relationally complicated positions around them and that as soon as, as soon as we start to do that, then all the other positions around the child that are usually occluded or um, rendered invisible like the state and socio-political structuring of adult-child relationships then are enabled to come to the fore. So um, I was delighted when this, you know, when I was invited to uh, contribute and participate in this seminar because it names some really, uh, uh, well, central central concerns of, of of my own work, and and the the guiding questions are really really thought provoking. Um, uh, but it's a very very challenging and ambitious project to put feminism and feminism. And, and the politics of childhood together. <laughs>